It is absolutely crucial that you're continuing to invest during these slow times in Pet Simulator 99. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of those things you should be considering buying during these slow times in the market to make sure that you're still making profit and not actually losing value over time. And really quickly, I just want to apologize for my lack of consistency with the videos and content within the last week. My computer has been having a ridiculous amount of issues, and it just seems like I keep having a new problem every day. And on top of that, I'm currently taking my finals for the semester, so all that combined has made it kind of hard to make the videos in the past week. The schedule should be back to normal by the end of this week, so I appreciate you guys for sticking through with me and continuing to watch the videos that I do upload, so thank you guys very much. I still have a whole bunch of exclusives to give away from my 10k sub opening that I did just a couple days ago. So if you would like some exclusive comment your Roblox username down in the comment section below and I will pick a few of you guys to send a few exclusives to. And if you found this market video helpful please consider giving it a like and making sure you're subscribed to the channel. It helps me out tremendously with the algorithm so I thank you guys for that. Let's get right into it though so you guys can know what to invest in during these slower times in the market. So at the time I'm recording this video, Pet Simulator 99 is pretty much at its lowest player count that I've personally seen since I've started playing the game just a few months ago. And it seems like to me, I can kind of feel it in the trading plaza. It seems like trades have been going quite slow as of recently. Now, I'm not going to speculate on why the player count is at such a low number right now, but I think you guys can infer from recent events why this could possibly be. But due to the slower activity, it seems like the market is just moving so, so slowly and there's not any like huge deflation periods or big inflation periods that I can make videos about. So things have been quite steady and this is kind of the period where you just want to make sure your diamonds are being invested in things that are going to hold value long term. And that's pretty much what I made this video for. So let's talk about the first item from the thumbnail that we're going to go over. So the chest mimic book, of course, is still at 1.05 billion. So most of the people watching, including myself, cannot afford to just go ahead and invest in one of these chest mimic books. But I think it is important to talk about and show the graph for it. So the reason the chest mimic enchant, while still very expensive, is a good long term investment for people is because of its rarity. As many of you guys know, the Chest of Mimic Enchant can no longer be obtained in Pet Simulator 99, so there's going to be no more supply of these being added to the game unless Preston goes ahead and decides to add it back to the exclusive shop for some reason, which honestly is not too far from reality at this point. But at the moment, with our current information, there is no possible way to get another Chest Mimic book. And as you guys can see, the price has been very stable for a long time now. So on April 1st, the wrap value of the chest mimic enchant was 1.13 billion. And in over two weeks of time, we have not seen the price of the chest mimic move all that much. So honestly, I'm not sure why this is. But the fact that you can't get any of these more added to the game and the fact that it is still the best enchant book that we have in the game is a good indicator that this is something good to hold during these long term periods. Now, if we do end up seeing the price of this dip once again to the 900 millions, I might go ahead and sell some stuff and buy another one of these to invest in because I think long term this is still going to continue going up. It is pretty strange how it just almost completely stopped uh, going up in price. Just over a month ago, this thing was 300 million and we've slowly crept up all the way to 1.1 billion pretty much. So it's only a matter of time before we see the growth of this take off once again. And if this next update is anything like the last update, we can expect to see inflation continue pretty heavily once again. And for all of those reasons, that's why I think this would be a decent long-term investment for people that do have a lot of diamonds and are looking for somewhere to keep it. Items that are actually super useful and really hard to obtain or can't be obtained anymore are actually very good value holders for the future. So that's why the Chest Mimic Enchant is my first recommendation for holding value long term. And that leads me to my second best recommendation for holding value long term at this very current moment in Pet Simulator 99. 
So if you need somewhere to invest your diamonds right now, I'm currently buying up some of these Titanic Christmas presents. And I know a lot of you are probably saying, Mateo, you know you could probably get more of these when the next Christmas event comes in eight months. And you'd probably be right about that. But overall, I personally like the Titanic Christmas presents a lot because they do give a lot of value, not only for their Titanic that's in it, the Silver Dragon, which is very popular and a lot of people will try to open these to get a new one. But also for the candy canes and the hot cocoa as well as the cookies that you can get from this are all very sought after. So there is a lot of value in these and I'm sure a lot of people are still opening them which is only lowering the supply which we won't get more of for another 8 months. So for the time being I think these are a decent investment because the supply is going to go down and if you see at the beginning of the month we saw the peak prices of these Titanic Christmas presents reach 28.68 million and since then there's not really been a reason for the price of this to really plummet i think people just began to panic sell or someone probably had an account that had a ton of these so they went ahead and began selling so that could have been a reason i'm not sure what caused this big old dip right here but we can compare this to the chart of the huge happy computers so the chart for the huge happy computers is what we use to compare the price uh, changes for a lot of and as you can see around April 4th when uh, the peak of the Titanic Christmas presents was the price of the huge happy computer was 44.68 million and now we're seeing prices of almost 52 million for the huge happy computer. So I think this change in price is an accurate representation of inflation and that's why I think that there is still potential for the Titanic Christmas present to bounce back up in value. So that is why I'm personally investing in them. And I think they are pretty decent value holders for the time being, as well as just some decent things to flip overall, which leads me to my third recommendation for investing in the long term. So if you watched my last market analysis video, I recommended that you guys buy these hidden treasure ultimates at around 300 million because these were removed from the exclusive shop and they were kind of removed in an unexpected way, which made it so people weren't able to buy and invest in these with rope. So there's probably not that much volume of these things in existence. And it is also probably one of the best ultimates, if not the best. I think this ultimate is very close to the chest spell ultimate in terms of use. Because the chest spell ultimate is able to be obtained from just regular breakables, a ton of people have gotten them that way, as well as the exploiters who exploited the tech chest were probably able to get a ton of these from that exploit. So that is a, probably a reason why the chest spell is so much less value than the hidden treasure now. But if you did invest in these when I suggested them to you, you would be up at least double your diamonds right now. So that is really good. It's kind of hard to tell you guys to keep investing in this because it is such a high price right now. At the current rate, it's been increasing in price. This might actually hit the value of the chest mimic, which is kind of insane, but it is a pretty good ultimate. But one thing I was unaware of when I made that video is that this thing is actually still available in the exclusive shop, but it's available through the forever pack, which if you guys don't know, that's a pack in Pet Simulator 99 where you spend like 99 Robux and then it's like 400 Robux and it just keeps ramping. And when you've spent enough Robux on that pack, you get to the 7,200 Robux section, which enables you to still get these dropped. But hopefully I would assume not too many people are buying the forever pack up to that level. 7,200 Robux for a chance at this thing are pretty low odds. So I don't think if that will affect the overall value of this in the long term. Obviously this one has already increase so much in value but I still think it is a decent recommendation because of how good it is compared to the other ultimates as well as how rare it is now I think in my last market analysis video when I was talking about the hidden treasure the chest spell was pretty much the same value and now it has dropped down to 234 million and I'm pretty sure this is due to the exploiters who exploited the tech chest and if you didn't know you can get the chest spell from 
the tech chest. So I think that some of the exploiters got a bunch of these and were able to add them to the market, which essentially crashed the price of them. So that's why I think the price has just been going down over time, as well as people are probably just getting these from drops as well. So that could also be a contributing fact. But honestly, if you had to use an ultimate, I would probably stick with the chest spell over the hidden treasure at the moment, just because of how much cheaper it is. And it's probably pretty similar in terms of how much more items you get if you're consistently using it throughout the night. The rainbow mini chests have gone up in value since I made my video. I don't really know why that is because it does seem like people are getting more and more. So I would have expected this to go down a little bit in price. But now that it is more expensive, I definitely wouldn't suggest it. And in my video of opening them, I actually did suggest you to not open these. Not sure why the price of that is rising currently. Also something to mention, the value of the tech keys and the crystal keys have been going up pretty consistently over the past few weeks. Now, if you use PS99Wrap.com, you could see that some of the most commonly added cues to the game are coming from the tech chest as well as the crystal chest. So I would assume that's why, and people are probably also trying to get their key mastery up, which does give a lot of benefits once you reach 99, because you can get better odds to get that huge. So that's why I think the value of the keys is going up over time. I also have a lot of people asking me about the boss chest mimic versus the boss lucky block. Now, in terms of investments, I honestly probably wouldn't buy either of these right now. Just because it has been in the exclusive shop for so long now that probably there are so many in existence of these boss chest mimics. So it's just probably not a good investment overall. But in general, it is still a good enchant to use if you don't have it already in your grinding loadout. I definitely would suggest at least using it. It's definitely good for the value and honestly having so many in existence has kept it pretty cheap so this is definitely something good to pick up and lastly what i would recommend if you are trying to just hold value over time in pet simulator 99 is to hold the handy dandy happy computers because for the long term we can probably expect inflation to continue and having huges is probably the best way to just hold your value over because those huges are going to be rising with inflation as well as the happy rock is also a good one. And honestly, it is cheaper than the happy computer right now. So this is probably a better one to pick up if you want to hold a value over time. Along with those, the exclusive eggs also do hold value pretty well over time. I'd probably go with the superhero egg because it has the most room to grow. Well, well, it looks like we ended up yapping just as much as we usually do so if you enjoyed this video please consider liking it as well as subscribing to the channel we are still doing daily giveaways on our discord so make sure you are joined up link for that is down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching as always please leave any video recommendations you might have down below in the comments and i will take them into consideration i'll see you guys in the next one peace out